Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is March 15th, 2018. Today we will be viewing images from unedited photos obtained today from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams scattered across Alaska and Canada. All videos are in time-lapse mode with each frame equal to 10 minutes. Our first video was viewed by the South Facing Weather Cam in Chicamas Canyon, British Columbia, Canada. We've seen this before, but it is important to see how the flashlight sun or sun simulator behaves in the presence of several close celestial objects. This video contains four planets and two moons. We see two objects rising over the mountains. The one on the left is our sun. The one on the right is actually two objects. As they rise, the flashlight sun attempts to completely engulf these objects in glare, rendering them non-viewable. This is one of the concealment functions of the flashlight sun. We'll explain the flashlight sun in a moment. If we go back to the beginning again and look at the background sky, we see the flashlight sun taking up nearly the entire sky in order to engulf these objects before they peek over the mountaintop. Notice the rainbow colored rings and filaments protruding from the flashlight sun. These are yet another obscuring feature performed by the prism installed on the flashlight sun. We'll see more of this in a few minutes. The sun takes on the shape of a blob in order to engulf the two other celestial objects in glare. Finally, the two foreign objects break free of the glare and are then obscured by a very successful blurring mechanism built into the flashlight sun. These objects are blurred, then they fade into transparency from the atmospheric chemicals. Two moons just came into view as well as another large planet on the far right side of the screen. Some contrast brings it into view better. And here's an enlargement of that object. As the sun approaches the planet on the right, it is also severely blurred from view. The prisms put out colored rings and lines to further obscure any nearby objects. And finally, the moons are hidden in a prism ring of rainbow colors. The close-up images of the moons prove that they are not lens flares. They are rotating and one of them has a black ring around it. For those who are new to this channel, I will quickly explain the flashlight sun or sun simulator. It is a very intense light source installed between the Earth and the Sun much closer to the Earth. The planets involved in the many eclipses occurring daily, which we'll see in a minute, pass in front of our real Sun but behind the flashlight sun so that it's not obvious an eclipse is occurring. We know that the flashlight sun is not the real Sun as evidenced from these images taken from the weather cam in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. As the flashlight sun moves across the sky, it completely disappears behind a tiny street light. Our real sun could never be hidden by a tiny object like this. There is either a large gaseous cloud or a planet in front of our real sun, but behind the flashlight sun. The flashlight sun has a black center during eclipses and near eclipses. This black dot is not a camera anomaly. It casts its own reflection upon water as shown in these images from the southwest facing weather cam in Gustavus Dock, Alaska. According to the sunrise schedule for Toxook Bay, Alaska, this east facing camera caught another object rising 15 minutes after our sun was already up and well hidden behind the opaque chemtrailed clouds. As the morning goes on, it becomes more obvious that there is more than just our sun rising. Eventually, the flashlight sun engulfs the other object in glare for concealment and takes on a very contorted shape again. 
The east-facing weather cam in St. Mary's, Alaska, captured two very textured objects. The flashlight sun is busy blurring and obscuring the larger object at its 11 o'clock position, leaving the smaller planet in the upper right corner in sharp focus. Here are some close-up views of that smaller planet. The prism on the flashlight sun causes multiple images in the last two frames. It's even easier to see the multiple objects in these contrast enhanced images. The south facing weather cam in Sitka, Alaska often captures this red planet, but what's interesting here is to see the flashlight sun's prism at work. Look how the rainbow colored ring of glare stretches toward the red planet in an attempt to obscure it from view. The south-facing weather cam in Shagaluk, Alaska, caught this prism-reflected planet on the horizon on the left side of the screen. This has to be a reflection because it is setting over top of some of the tree line in the horizon. The real planet is in direct alignment with the flashlight sun hidden in a transparency from atmospheric chemical and the chemical clouds that are visible under the sun. The east-facing weather cam at Scammon Bay caught the flashlight sun growing to an enormous size in order to engulf the celestial objects in glare. These would be the same ob objects we saw earlier at Chicamas Canyon where the moons were visible. Forty-five minutes worth of images were removed from this camera. All of these cameras are gone over carefully, and many frames are removed before allowing the public to view them. I only get what they miss.